Ricardian model. It is a model for explaining why countries trade. It explains uh, what is the pattern of the trade, why it is not possible to set equal wages all over the world, and where are the income differences coming from. The major assumptions of the model are there is only one factor of production, technology it varies across countries, and CRS production function, and the market structure is perfect competition. We've already recorded the different recording for the assumptions of the model. You can have a look at that. Let's, li let's look at the first example of gains from trade. Suppose there are two countries, A and B, and there are two products, X and Y. So, supposedly, let me use different ink, country A could produce 100X, or it can produce 1000Y there is a big or in between country B it can produce say 100 X or it can produce say 200 Y okay so there's an opportunity cost which is involved so in case if if country A is producing Y it is not producing X or if country A is producing X, it is not producing Y. So the opportunity cost of Y in terms of X is the number of X that would have been produced with the resources used to produce a given number of Y. Okay. Well, can you find out some gains from trade in the sense that if trade is possible between these two countries, is there any gains from trade in this example. Yes, it is. So for example, let us just rearrange this. There are these two countries are A and B and uh, the products are X and Y. Suppose country A does not produce any X. So it is minus 100. And country A produces only Y, so it is plus 1000. Country B produces all X, but it does not produce any of the Y. So how much is the gains from trade? 800. 800 Y is the gains from trade in this example. Let us look at one more example. Okay, uh, say for example, if you have, uh, say there are two countries again, A and B, and there are two goods. Uh, let me take the classic goods, cheese and wine. So, and let us rearrange this example in terms of the unit labor requirements. Okay, what are unit labor requirements? Say, for example, uh, if I say that in order to produce one pound of cheese in country A, it takes six hours. Okay, so unit labor requirement is six for cheese. Similarly, if I say if it takes 10 hours to produce one bottle of wine in country A, so unit labor requirement for wine in country A is 10. Okay, this is just hypothetical. Now, let us look at this. So, and we'll, we'll show the unit labor requirement as either AC a W A C star A W star. A C is the unit labor requirement to produce cheese in a home country. Say for example, country A is a home country. A W is 
यूनिट लेबर रिक्वायरमेंट टू प्रोड्यूस वाइन इन अ होम कंट्री ए सी स्टार इज यूनिट लेबर रिक्वायरमेंट टू प्रोड्यूस चीज इन द फॉरन कंट्री बी इज अ फॉरन कंट्री ए डब्ल्यू स्टार इज द यूनिट लेबर रिक्वायरमेंट टू प्रोड्यूस वाइन इन अ फॉरन कंट्री लेट्स टेक अप दिस एग्जाम्पल से let me just get rid of this yeah so i hope that you know what are what does this mean let me just write the total labor force total labor force yeah so let's say ac this is a w this is a c star this is a w star say for example a c is equal to 1 a w equals to 2 a c star equals to 6 a w star equals to 3 total labor force is say 120 here and this is 60 say for example and uh, so what does this mean it means that in order to produce cheese at home the amount of hours required is 1 1 pound of cheese at home in order to produce one bottle of wine at home you require 2 hours in order to produce one pound of cheese in in the foreign country you require 6 hours in order to produce one bottle of wine in the foreign country you required 3 hours what is the star doing here and this is the total labor force which is available in both home and the foreign countries now if you look at this you can still rearrange production in in one way so let me just make this again this is a this is b country a country b this is cheese and this is wine okay now you can say for example uh, home would not produce any of the cheese okay so in case if it is not producing cheese it will gain in producing wine and if foreign is producing cheese then it will get this 1 pound of cheese but it will lose half a bottle of wine okay so the gains would be one and a half bottle of wine so gains from trade so in case if in case if uh, home is going to produce wine and foreign is going to produce cheese this is the gains from the trade okay i haven't talked a lot about what is the advantage what is the comparative advantage nothing okay i'm just giving you very preliminary examples of gains from trade as we move along we'll find out better examples and we'll come upon this example again in order to show you why this picture of gains from trade has emerged